Divrei Hayamim Rishon, 1 Chronicles 14. Now Hiram, king of Sor, sent messengers to David, and timber of cedars, with masons and carpenters, to build him a house. And David perceived that Yahweh had confirmed him king over Yashereel, for his kingdom was lifted up on high. Because of his people, Yashareel. And David took more women at Yerushalayim, and David begat more sons and daughters. Now these are the names of his children, which he had in Yerushalayim. Shamua and Shovav, Nathan and Shalomah, and Yivchar and Elishua, and Eliphelet, and Noga, and Nepheg, and Yafia, and Elishama, and Be'el Yada, and Eliphelet. And when the Pelishtim heard that David was anointed king over all Yashar'el, all the Pelishtim went up to seek Eth David, and David heard of it, and went out against them. And the Pelish team came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim. And David inquired of Elohim, saying, Shall I go up against the Pelish team? And will you deliver them into my hand? And Yahweh said unto him, Go up, for I will deliver them into your hand. So they came up to Baal Peratzim, and David smote them there. Then David said, Elohim has broken in upon Eth my enemies by my hand, like the breaking forth of waters. Therefore they called the name of that place Baal Peratzim. And when they had left Eth their Elohim there, David gave a commandment, and they were burned with fire. And the Pelish team yet again spread themselves abroad in the valley. Therefore David inquired again of Elohim, and Elohim said unto him, Go not up after them, turn away from them, and come upon them over against the mulberry trees. And it shall be, when you shall hear at a sound of going in the tops of the mulberry trees, that then you shall go out to battle. For Elohim has gone forth before you to smite at the host of the Pelishtim. David therefore did as Elohim commanded him, and they smote at the host of the Pelishtim from Givan even to Gezer. And the fame of David went out into all lands, and Yahuwah brought at the fear of him upon all nations.